If you have a friend with inflammatory bowel disease or something like Crohn's disease or colitis, then make sure you listen to this. How do you support your friend with IBD? So whether your old friend has just become diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease or perhaps your friendship is on the newer side, here are some ways or suggestions that I would offer to you to keep the friendship connection both healthy and strong for both of you. Number one, let your friend who has IBD set the direction. So asking someone how they're doing is a normal greeting, that's a given. But let your friend with IBD then take it from there. If they opt to steer the conversation toward their IBD challenges and want to make that a major discussion topic, then it's great to show your support. But if you get a shrug or a non-committal answer, that usually means that they're tired of thinking and talking about their disease. So veer towards other subjects instead. Number two, build flexibility into your plans always. Even when you're attending something specific, like a concert, for instance, always be ready to modify your get-togethers and to do so at the last minute. That might mean seeing a movie at home instead of going to a theater, as an example, or perhaps grabbing takeout food instead of trying that new restaurant in town. Or it may mean switching up an in-person visit altogether and either trying a different day or catching up perhaps by a phone call or a video call. And there's also a clear need to be flexible when you are actually out together with your inflammatory bowel disease friend because we do have body issues that can suddenly arise and place us in a crisis mode. Let me give you two real life and personal examples of this so that you can realize how you need to be flexible and understanding and compassionate with your friend who has IBD. So more example number one, I recall when I attended two concerts in the same week and I had to leave both early as a result of Crohn's bowel movement issues in soil clothing. In other words, I pooped my pants big time and it was crazy big time uncontrolled explosive diarrhea imagine that i'm at a concert with a friend with 15,000 people there and i lose control of my bowels which suddenly explode with uncontrolled diarrhea caused by my crohn's disease another example I was out for a walk with a friend when suddenly I had exploding bowels on a very busy main street in downtown Toronto in Canada. So needless to say that our walk that summer evening was abandoned. And I was fortunate enough that I happened to be one block away from a restaurant that a childhood friend worked at, my old friend Franco. I called him from the street and he stuck me in a service entrance, led me to a staff washroom in the sub basement where I could take the half hour plus needed to clean up my body from all of the poop and blood everywhere. It was really, really bad on this occasion. Franco was kind enough to get me a chef's outfit of clothing to wear home in a taxi that he arranged for me. Thank goodness for the love and com compassion and kindness of friends when we have inflammatory bowel disease. I was absolutely in distress, in panic, and in embarrassment with what had just happened to me. It was very stressful. Franco, though, was there for me to help me through it all. So as you can see through my two real life examples that I've just highlighted for you, there's a powerful need for you to be understanding and compassionate and flexible with your friend who has IBD, because I can assure you they have examples just like I highlighted. As they say, shit happens for us with IBD, both literally and figuratively. Number three, be a friend, not a health coach. Unless you're actually a health coach or a healthcare practitioner and your friend with IBD has asked for advice from you, it's best to stick to just being a friend. If you have researched a treatment or a study about IBD, I guarantee your friend with IBD has done this too. Don't try to fix them. They're already working on it. The danger here for you is that this approach makes it seem like your friend with IBD is a problem to be solved, that your friend with IBD is the problem, not their disease, when all your IBD friend really wants is just to be treated like a friend. For me, 
I never wanted to discuss my disease and my surgical outcomes with my friends. I just wanted my friends to be my escape from my misery, to help me forget for just a short time that I was very, very sick with the brutal disease that had wreaked havoc on my life. Number four, get creative with staying connected. Watch a show together, but in different homes, and chat about developments over a text or a call. Perhaps play a game, but choose one that's online and brings a group of you together. One benefit of the COVID pandemic pivot in society is that we've all found clever ways to stay connected, and you can draw on those to support your IBD friend who may actually be going through an inflammatory bowel disease flare-up. Number five, and this is the end of the video, the bottom line, and most of all, be compassionate, be understanding, read the room, read the situation with your IBD friend. Don't judge us. Don't offer us healthcare advice. Don't tell us how to fix our disease or how to fix our bodies. Recognize that we have undergone significant changes to our basic body functions and that this has an impact on our identity and on our immune system and on our nervous system. In other words, our disease will evolve and change us into different people. So you need to roll with this. The Ostomy Athlete.